What's up guys? Uh, so <clears throat> my first meal of the day has been pretty steady. Uh, it's been the same thing for a long time now, at least you know, a few months. Um, it's a half cup of uh, egg whites. I usually like to drink that just because it doesn't taste bad and it's convenient. Um, three whole eggs. Uh, so I like to cook them. I like sunny side up. Um, basically, I can just like kind of like edge around the yolk and just eat the yolk real quick and it just goes down. Um, I like the way it tastes. And then I have four ounces of ground turkey, which is 99% fat free. That's kind of like the bummed part of my breakfast because I don't really like the ground turkey. It's very dry, uh, especially being 99% fat free. That you know, It doesn't have the fat that kind of makes it flavorful and everything like that, like you would get like with a 93%. But, you know, that's my coach's orders is to have uh, the 99, you know, as lean as it can, can possibly be. Fucking fuck. Okay. And that's basically breakfast. You know, finish the bottles of water. You got the eggs four ounces of the ground turkey and the uh, half cup egg whites. It's quick. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer to eat than normal just because honestly, I'm so tired of that ground turkey. It's just because it's dry. It doesn't taste good. You know, you get, people all the time tell me, hey, I like chicken. I like ground turkey. I like fish. I like rice, potatoes. I always say that because you eat it two times a week. You eat it when you're hungry. When you eat the same food in the same order, I don't care if it was pizza every day. Eventually, you're not going to want the pizza. It's just a matter of being repetitive with it the same way. I mean, you try to cook it a little differently, but after a while, it's still it's, it's still ground turkey. The difference in this prep, for me, I'm obviously, I want to compete at the show. I want to win the show. I'm more interested to see what the difference is in the approach, the fact that I'm not doing cardio. I, I've never not did cardio. I've always just started a really heavy weight and just kind of toppled it down until I was in condition and then, you know, that was the show time. This is like a different thing. This is kind of like no cardio, still high carbs, getting leaner, metabolism is different. Um, all because of the approach because we did in the off season and just like staying on, on point, you know, Matt telling me that you can't have a cheat meal. He doesn't give cheat meals for mental breaks. Every so often, you know, I'll get away, especially during like an off time, like in the springtime or even the winter time. Like I'll go down to the beach and just, you know, just kind of go in and take it all in, especially during prep where it's like everything's like the same routine over and over again. And, you know, there's a million people around you and you're, you just got a lot going on in your life. I'll go there and I'll just like relax for a little. Not a long time. It's freezing outside, but it's like, you know, I'll go there and I'll just, you know, I'll get to some fresh air reset myself a little bit you know it's good scenery and everything like that and uh, you know then i'll just uh come back to reality a little bit after and you know it makes me feel a little bit better you know i have some new tattoos uh since the last show you know i have in the finished the bottom of my half i'm in the process of doing upper i'm in the process of doing the whole sleeve uh, that's not going to be done before my show just because, you know, this stuff takes time and you know, appointments and everything like that. Um, you know, it's uh, everyone kind of asks you, like, say, Gary, what made you want to get a tattoo? And the truth is, is that I always wanted tattoos. Uh, I just never got them because I took bodybuilding so serious that I never wanted to mess up my marketability or I thought that it was going to mess up my marketability uh, amongst judges and, uh, you know, uh, future opportunities that were going to come my way. Um, I got to the point where I was literally living by other people's standards, you know. I was living by some judge's standard that, frankly, does not give a shit about me. They're not giving me money. They're not paying my bills. They don't want to give me money. They don't want to pay my bills. And it's not like they're going to take me to the promised land. They look at me as a guy who pays the entry fee and I'm going to get judged, and that's about it. I told myself, Gary, you're living like you're already Mr. Olympia. If it was to be different, if I was the reigning Mr. Olympia making $400,000 a year on a salary with a supplement company, but I'm not. So why am I living that way in hopes of that, of that pipe dream? It's not that I don't believe in myself anymore or anything like that. It's just the fact is, is that I kind of had to do something for myself 
something that I always wanted to do. And so I just did it. You know, I just kind of did it. And I said, you know what? If these tattoos, if I lose the Junior USAs because of these tattoos, then I wasn't in shape. Even if I was in shape, you could still win and beat everybody on stage if you're that much more ripped. Than Basically, uh, shoulders, I like to do, it's actually a new uh, exercise that I saw uh, Roman Fritz uh, kind of do. It's a Smith Machine Standing Military Press. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's obviously not free weight. People say, why do you do it on a Smith Machine? With shoulders, I like to do a little bit more machine work, you know, um, as opposed to like dumbbells. I'll do dumbbells, but I like to focus on just pushing the weight up. And that's a Marcus Rule tactic. And if anybody knows anything about bodybuilding, knows that Marcus Rule had the best shoulders ever. They were like literally pumpkins. And he never used free weights. He said he never wanted to focus on stabilizing it. He was just interested in pushing the most amount of weight up. And if a machine was the reason that he could stay like that, then that's fine. <laughs> chest motions I always always like to do a cable fly I'll do different angles I'll do either from top down sometimes I'll do the middle sometimes I'll even do from the bottom up it kind of brings your upper chest up um, I don't I change the order of that sometimes I'll warm up with the chest fly with the cables sometimes I'll finish with it sometimes I'll use it as a superset you know just it really I'm very uh, instinctual when I work out <sighs> The first place that I'll go after I do my workout is McDonald's and the first what I'll get at McDonald's is I'll get two ice cream cones. Um, the reason why it's specifically prescribed for uh, me to go to McDonald's is the ice cream there is non-fat or low fat. Uh, it's not like a Breyers ice cream which is a full-fledged fat uh, content. There's a lot of sugar in the ice cream and that's, that's good for this purpose here post-workout. Uh, on a refeed. So I'll inhale those, the cone, the whole line. It's like, that's like a slice of heaven for me. It lasts about 10 seconds. Hi, may I help you? Hi, can I have two uh, ice cream cones, please? Two ice cream cones? That's it. It's as glorious as I remember it. And I'm going to eat it really fast before it melts. Um, enjoy it, and then I'm gonna go eat the rest of this junk and probably look twice as ripped by tomorrow. So guys, this is my first vlog uh, for all the G6 fans out there, all three of you. Um, there's gonna be you know, a bunch more coming out. This is like a real life look into my, in my life. You know, this is not with a camera crew. This is not you know, with an editing crew all behind me. This is just what I see and what I do during the day. You know, and I flip the camera out and we get some, some raw footage of it. So you guys get an insider look of everything. So stay tuned, there's gonna be a lot more. Thanks for watching.